What's up, everybody? This is Joe, a.k.a. The Dentist, and I'm bringing you a MLG variant CTF game on Summit. Uh, this is the one that I alluded to earlier in the FRC domination game that I talked about. Um, this was the team that was 38th place on the ladder. Uh, they were, I think, 21-0. and 0, And um, this is the, the game. So... These guys were actually really cool, really nice guys, and it was a it was a it was an awesome games. Both games, the search game and this game, were really fun games, and uh, I had a I had a great time playing these games. So, uh, Summit CTF is it's an interesting game uh, game type. It's this map is uh, there's so many options. You can run Summit, you can run Steam. I, I prefer to run Steam, and I I haven't done the spawn shop. I haven't started breaking this map down yet. But um, I've noticed that people are starting to push Summit and push for Summit. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about that yet, but I'm waiting to, uh, you know, break down the footage, the spawns, and see what works works best. So that will be something really interesting to see. But, um, you know, I, I was really impressed with how we played this game. Uh, we did a really good job of controlling the map, winning our gunfights, and we did... Um, we just did really good. It was it was uh, it was really cool to to watch these games back afterwards and see the things that we did right and see the things that we did wrong. Um, this is a little bit of a heartbreaker at the end, so uh, I'll just forewarn you guys: get the tissues ready just in case you're gonna shed a tear for us <laughs> as you see the end of the game. So, uh, it would have been nice to go to a third match with these guys. I I think we we would have had a chance. Um, to beat them, honestly, uh, we we p played search on firing range right before this, and we went to overtime. And our team's strong suit is not search. Um, I think our best game type is probably domination, CTF, then search. So uh, it, it's really hard to get good search scrims in because people don't like to scrim search. Um, you know, it, it's not a game type that a lot of people like to play, and especially in scrims, uh, it's hard. Uh, I don't know. Just for some reason, people don't. I don't like to play it just because I don't like to play search. But uh, you know, if you if you want to become well rounded, and you want to become a good player, you're gonna have to learn how to play these these game types. So, um, but as you can see, uh, we uh, right now I'm just working on control, trying to control the middle of the map, uh, trying to control their spawns, trying to keep uh, keep them down at least a player or two at all times. I do a pretty good job, and I do get turned on here really badly. I only have, like, eight bullets left, and I didn't pay attention before I jumped up there to engage that guy. I was trying to be sneaky on him, but uh, he was ready for me. I think he heard me climbing up, so not a great play on my part, but eh, it happens. So uh, I see that we are spawning on that steam side, so I'm going to try to come out and flank from behind. I'm, I'm going to try to get into their area. Uh, I'm, I'm telling my team right now that I'm back behind their flag and they, they have two down so I'm like I, I'm gonna pull it they were we were getting calls that they were pushing our flag pretty hard so this cap was more of a just a defensive cap to shift their focus um, sometimes that strategy can work it can backfire for sure but it can work to make the other team stop thinking about your flag for a second and start thinking about oh they just pulled our flag well here I'll get I have to stop you know killing your team your teammates off respawn I have to worry about getting my flag back now in case you're gonna try to sneak around me and get a cap here yeah I had extended mags on there should have kept shooting 2v1 we were both in somewhat of a head glitch and should not have probably shouldn't have engaged that guy probably should have just tried to get out of that gunfight and right there sprinting off respawn always a bad idea but trying to make something happen trying to get into their area and trying to get that middle portion of the map back because as you can see right now we're, we're kind of pushed back in our spawn a little bit and I'm trying to hold the area down and get to that middle of the map um, I'm able to get a kill there and I know there's a guy above me I heard him reload and I got a call out that he was top glass so I kind of try to bait him here with the reload and I didn't catch him as he jumped down but fortunately Skunkfoot was there to uh, pick him up and get the kill but um, I don't know if you guys know that the patch came out today. I'm sure you guys probably know. Right here I'm trying to get a spray down there. But they did release a patch last night. Uh, well, I can't say last night. I'm not sure when this is going to be posted. But um, they posted it on the 28th of April. 
in the in the wee hours of the morning. But they added a competition playlist. If you guys don't know, I'm sure you do. If you're following our channel, you probably already know about it. But if you go under Bare Bones, there's now a competition playlist that includes the MLG maps, the MLG rule set. To the most part, for the most part, it's not entirely correct because it you don't play two sides of domination. You don't uh, you play overtime in CTF, but it does ban perks. Um, it does ban attachments. It does ban equipment. So uh, it, it's it's awesome. I think it's a huge step uh, in the right direction for the community, and you know, I see a lot. I read a lot of the forums, and people were complaining, but uh, you know, people feel like they're getting slighted because they weren't able, they weren't getting their, you know, their team, their their favorite game type. I see a lot of hardcore players complaining, which I don't play hardcore, so I don't know a lot about it. But I see a lot of people complaining that there's not enough hardcore game modes for for the hardcore players. But you know, the counter to that is there's never been an MLG playlist in Call of Duty, so. I think we were a little bit overdue. Um, but So I don't know if you guys know this, but uh, regarding the search game, I can post that if you guys want. Also, if you guys just uh, leave a comment or w whatever, let me know if you want to see the Fire Range search game. My perspective is kind of boring because I, I'm playing the flank defense mostly. Uh, so a lot of some of it's just kind of me sitting in a in a spot waiting to to for people to tr try to flank. But I can definitely try to post that. And right here, I was not sure who stunned me. Um, I think it was the guy that was chasing me a noob right here, but I, I wanted to go back and see, but that was a great stun, and that's how they were able to get the first cap. Um, I was in a decent position, but I probably should have pushed closer to their flag there to get that return. Um, but anyway, back to the patch. Sorry, I keep, for, I keep trailing off. Um, so the search game, they changed it now. You can no longer spin and silently plant the bomb. Uh, when you have, when you start to plant the bomb now, it's going to make the noise. You're going to be able to hear the click of the briefcase. You're going to be able to hear the button presses, and you're going to uh, give your position away. So it's good in, good in some ways and good in, and bad in the other. Oh, yeah, and the, the, they changed the round timer to a minute and a half. So a minute and a half uh, is really quick in search, especially when, um, <laughs> you know, you're trying to, trying to uh, plant because you have no element of surprise anymore. And here we get a nice piggyback cap. We're able to tie it up 1-1. One, one. So right now we're, we're feeling pretty good. We, we got the first cap out of the way. We didn't get completely blanked. And um, we're, 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 we're feeling pretty good. Like, hey, we're, we're going to do this. We can, we can pull it out. We're getting pushed back a little bit in our spawn, um, waiting on respawns. And I call that guy out. Noob's able to pick him up. It was a good, really good play. And uh, I get a call out that he's top computer. I'm expecting him to push flag, but but he doesn't. So I'm going to rotate down to bottom computer and try to push towards their flag so that I can get a, a pull. But miss that guy on the A box there. Heat of the moment. Got to be able, got to be aware. Uh, that was pretty much an awareness fail. So it happens. Um, it's things that you have to improve on. And, uh, you know, I feel like I, I've been playing pretty decently lately. Um, you know, I go through streaks. I'm sure like the rest of you guys right here, I get outplayed pretty badly too. I get prone blocked and I uh, can't spin on the guy and he's able to get me. So, um, but like, like most things, I go through streaks. Sometimes I'm playing really well and sometimes I'm, I'm really struggling to uh, find my shot and get the kills. But I feel like lately I, I've had been on a little bit of a better, better playing streak. So, uh, that's why you'll see me running extended mags, and I'm feeling pretty confident about my shot. I'll be using extended mags because I don't need the uh, red dot assist aim assist there. So um, they are pulling our flag here, and I'm th pretty sure it's Peter Panic makes a clutch return here. We are, right now are we? Me and him are the only two up, and he is able to clutch it out, get that flag cap. Uh, no, get the stop the guy from getting a flag cap and gets returned and this is his pull. We have a minute 15 left. I'm trying desperately to get to top computer so that I can hold down the middle of the map. I get a call out there that a guy was on computer and Skunk was able to um, pick him up. I get a kill and beat him. I'm feeling really good. I'm like, oh yeah, we got this. We got this cap and he gets stopped like one foot away. The guy was directly behind our spawn in the bobcat area and, and we just missed him um we we watched back the film together and he sat there and watched a couple of us run by him a couple times he played it really slow and here you go i get one kill i know they pull the flag i'm the only one up somebody just comes off respawn get another kill and oh there's a third guy who picks it up i don't have any stuns left so i'm trying to get desperately get to the top because i know he ran on a computer he's trying to get there 
You can see me try to throw the grenade. I can't. I see him disappear into the steam room and he gets the cap with 17 seconds left in the game. So we played uh, We played really well. Um, right there at the end, we all just tried Russian flag just to see if we could get lucky because that's all we had left. So, you know, we played well. Uh, I, have n I have no complaints about how we played these games. We, we did a really good job. And against the team that was much more established than we are, you know, we're still learning. Um, we're, we're, um, I'm a newer competitive player. Um, some of the guys that I'm playing with are newer to the competitive scene. So all in all, I feel like we, we had a pretty decent showing and we did a really good job. So, um, you know, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think of the videos. Thumbs them up, thumbs them down. And, uh, you know, I appreciate you guys' support and watching. I've run into a lot of people in lobbies that are uh, starting to recognize us and it is really cool and i appreciate it you know if you see me in a lobby or see me in a scrim holler out to me and uh let me know that you like the channel i, pre I really appreciate your guys's feedback so thanks again for watching guys and uh you know leave a comment thumbs it up thumbs it down let us know what you think of it subscribe if you haven't already uh we got some more cool things coming your way so thanks again for watching guys i'll talk to you on the next one